Okay, here's how we go about making our six picture poster. First thing we need to do is we're going to open up two programs. We're going to open up Internet, so we have Google, and we're going to go to Google Images. And my topic for my paper is going to be Ohio State Football. All right, there it is. And I'm going to choose pictures from the football program. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that just for a second, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up Word. I have Word on my desktop. You guys don't. So the way you get it is you just come down to your All Programs, and you're going to go to Microsoft Office. And in Microsoft Office, you're going to open up Microsoft Word, and Word comes open, and now you're ready to work in your Word document. Okay? This is our home ribbon across the top. We're going to use a couple buttons on here today. We're going to center our title. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come over here on my home ribbon and I want to center it and I want to make that big so it stands out and I'm going to say let's start off with 24 and I'm going to do a little different style of print than that. I want to do something a little fancier. I'm going to come down and choose one that I like. You can choose any that you like. Let's go with this one and I'm just going to type in Ohio State football. And there's our titer already done. Okay, now how do we go about inserting the pictures onto the page? I want to minimize that. I want to go back to the internet and I want to go ahead and pull up the pictures that I like. These are called thumbnails. Thumbnails are small pictures that represent the large picture that is behind it. So if I go in and I want to open up a picture, I want to go ahead and I like this picture right here. As it comes in, I can right click and copy. And when I copy that picture, I can then go back to Word and I can go ahead and I can paste that picture into Word. Notice that if I hold it over different things, it does different things. So these two will insert the picture, this will insert the text of the picture. So I'm going to insert that. I'm going to click on it and shrink it. Now the problem with this picture right now is it's locked into where it is. So I want to make that picture movable. It's called wrapping text. So I'm going to right click on the picture. I want to come down and wrap text and let's make it square. And once I've done that, formatted it in that manner, now you can see that that picture is movable. Ohio State football will go back to where it is. I can also go ahead and rotate that picture. Say I want to do something like that and I've got my first picture in. Okay. Now I want to go back to the internet. I want to get another picture. I will close this one and I want to find a picture. I don't want to copy and paste these smaller thumbnails. When you put them in and try to expand them, they look very blurry. So I want you to always get in the habit of getting a full size picture. I think I should get a picture of Urban Meyer, the coach. And when that comes in, notice how that's kind of cloudy. If it's cloudy, and you can't see it and when you paste it you can't see it if you click on it again oftentimes you'll go to that website where that picture came from and that will allow you to copy that picture so it won't be so blurry so there that picture is on the website I right click on it there and I copy that picture I'm going to go to my Word document again I'm going to paste that picture Again, I'm going to use one of these two arrows that allow me to paste the picture. And when I paste that in there, I can see that it's too big. I'm going to shrink it. I'm going to, again, wrap text and make it square with the picture or with the text. Notice how the text split. No problem. When I move the picture, the text will go back up to where it belongs. Okay. One other thing you can do, and I want to show you right now too, is you can also format your page. If I go to page layout and then change my margin, I can make my margin narrow and that moves by title up and gives me more space on the page. So I'm going to pull that down, I'm going to pull that up there, and now I have two pictures. Also, I may want to look at the whole page at one time. I can do that by clicking on my minus and notice how it makes the page smaller. I'm at 60% now, where it's a little harder to see, but at least I can look at the whole page at one time. Back to the internet. Okay, I've got two of them open. I just need my Google Images open. I'm going to go back to Google Images. There are my pictures. I'll close this one. 
and I'm going to go ahead and grab another picture that I like. I like this one right here, a lot of action. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It's blurry right now. I'm going to wait and see if it clears. It's not clearing. In that case, I can choose another picture if that doesn't work. Or again, I can click on it so it will open to the web page where that picture is. And then once I've done that, then I can copy and paste that picture in there. Sometimes if it's a big file, it'll take a while. As you see, this one's taking a little while to come in. I can decide that I don't want to wait for it and I can go back and find another picture or I can wait for it and see what I want to do. It's coming in. There it is. I see several pictures on there. Um, the picture actually was pretty small but let's see how it copies and come back to my Word document and I'm going to go ahead and paste that one in also. So I paste the picture and it should come out. Here we go. Notice that it went in there, it became very small, but the picture itself is very big because it's behind that other picture. So I want to shrink it down. I'm going to right click, wrap text, make it square so I can move it. And now I'm bringing it down here and now I've got my third picture on there. Okay, again, almost done. Got three out of the four done that I need. I'm going to go back to my images. I'm going to close up the one that I had. I'm going to get a picture of, uh, I like this one right here. Let's get the uh, whole team there. And we take the picture, see if it clears up. If it's not going to clear up, if it's going to remain foggy, blurry as it is, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to let the web page open when it comes open. Then I'll be able to use that picture and put it back into my poster so I can have that. This is the fourth picture of six. Uh, I'm going to stop after this picture, but you'll get the idea from what I'm doing. So you can go back and forth and watch this uh, film presentation as many times as you need to. Remember, we did a couple things on here today. We put the margin to narrow, and we put the uh, title on top of the page so we could look at that, and we could see all of the pictures. I'm going to go back again and show you the ribbon. I'm on the page layout ribbon right now, page layout, home insert. We went to margins and that made the margins narrow and that was on page layout going back to home to center the title which I did right now you can see it I'm in center and I changed the font size and I changed the font style so let's go back and see if our pictures up there it is right click on it copy some pictures you won't be able to do because they have copyright rules on them and you're not allowed to use them most pictures though if they're on the internet you can't so let's go ahead and paste this picture in with the arrow or the paintbrush, whichever one on that one. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there and let it come in. It must be a pretty big picture when it takes a while to do that, like it's doing right now. That means it's usually because it's a large file. You can see something happening now with the wheel turning. Once the wheel turns, there's my picture. I go ahead and shrink it. Again, notice that I can't move that picture. I can't do anything with it because I haven't wrapped text, I haven't formatted. We're going to make it square. Now I can move it. Now I can make it a little smaller, a little bigger if I want. I'm just spacing them out. So now I've got four pictures and you've got four of six done. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Remember what we did with the title, with the pictures, getting them all set and done. When I'm done now, I need to go up and file and save as because I need to save as so I can insert it into uh, echo and submit it for assignment it's important that you know where you're saving your file we're going to have to go over and saving it on your laptops it may be a little different than what we do in here and we'll eventually change this later in the year but for right now we're going to save it on our library uh, but not in our library we're going to come down and we're going to save it open it and I want to save it under documents. So right there, that's where we are. So it says libraries and it says documents. It's there. I've called it Ohio State football and I'm saving it. And that's the end of how we save our picture and get it to where we want. I'll take you back and go back to where we are. And now we can end. Oh. Get rid of that. And